Howdy everyone, thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, if it's your first time watching our channel or you're a regular viewer, please hit that subscribe button so every time I upload some new content you won't miss a thing. So today I'm going to show you quickly how to connect a Skywatcher Polar Illuminator. And this helps give it a soft background glow when you're polar lining when in using a polar scope. So, and it's designed to give a soft background glow because if it gave a really bright red light that would completely defeat the object. So, first things first, I'll just point out, you might have just noticed that this is a black mount. This is actually the Saxon EQ5 which is exactly the same as the old model Skywatcher EQ5. So, as with many things optical, first thing to do, remove the lens cap. Well, get very far without doing that. And you notice here the rim here protruding from the body and here is the illuminator and it's got a groove round the edge and so you don't screw this in, you don't push it in, it just it doesn't go inside the unit, you just simply push it into place and let go and you can position it how you want. It does come out easy but believe me it, it doesn't drop out, it fits nicely inside there Obviously, when you connect it, make sure it's not in the way of the tightening knob there. And that's pretty much how to fit it. You'll also notice in the package, you get this extra little adapter here, but that is for the Skywatcher Star Adventurer mount only. And something that I've noticed, and I know a lot of other people have, there you'll see on, off, and you might think that that is on and off for the brightness, but it's not. That is basically how to unscrew to get to the battery compartment. The on and off for the brightness is a little wheel away from that. So that's pretty much it. That's the Skywatcher Polar Illuminator, which is product code 20501, and it connects to the Skywatcher EQ32 and the EQ5, not the HEQ5 mount. So, as always, Thank you very much for watching, I hope that helps and please check out the links in the description below.